Hi guys, how are you? Thanks for tuning into the channel. I haven't been out in the old gun metal grave but now for the best part of a couple of weeks or ever since I got the interceptor and I thought maybe it's about time I get out there and give it a run. In fact it's been sitting here for a while now that there's a few cobwebs starting to appear on the bike and I suppose I'd better get out and blow them off. But the reason, or the main reason I'm thinking of taking her out on a bit of a run is I um, have recently purchased a uh, Insta360 1X camera and I'm going to take the um, Classic 500 out and run the um, 360 1X camera on it and just see how it performs. Now, as we all know, the um, Classic's a bit prone to vibration and stuff like that so I have to be a bit careful where I mount the camera more importantly the camera to get its best effect has to be mounted on a, um, a selfie stick type of affair so um, I was thinking at first maybe running on a handlebar mount system but that didn't work so I ordered a uh, the proper selfie or the invisible selfie stick they call it for this particular one and I set up a little mountain bracket here on the rear now, so oh, it sits something like that, so this is the Insta360 bracket. But I used a bit of Gorilla Tape to hold it to the guard for a little bit more stable, or well, to make it more stable, because this comes up like so, and it comes up more, and all of a sudden, you'll have a camera sitting out on an angle like something like that. This is just me, small GoPro style one. But it'll be sitting up something like that. And it will be, you won't know here this one's image stabilised, but it'll be sitting out like this. What a better idea. Bouncing around like that. And on the end of that rod, you'll have a $700 camera with a dual lens with the risk of it flying off and hitting the road and wiping itself on the first trip so uh, I ran the uh, Gorilla Tape on it to help stabilise it which it looks like it's working fine and these lock in position on the rods and hopefully that idea will work and I can get a few good shots of this bike running along and see how it goes anyway that's the plan all I've got to do is execute it and um, first retract this get it back down there I don't want to be running around town like it because it would be a bit of a hazard sitting out like that but out along the road you could get away with it and uh, we'll uh, put it into action and see how it performs and uh, once I get out to the designated spot I'll assemble it put the camera on it and we'll see how it goes so I'll catch up with you then. Okay, we're just about ready to roll. So a little bit of info on the uh, selfie stick itself. Fully extended, it's roughly one metre or three foot long. And once you push it down to lock it in place, it's roughly one foot long. So, uh, and uh, the camera that sits on the end, well, that's the um, Insta360 1X, and that's series or generation two and they retail for roughly 700 bucks. So you have to be very careful that you do put the camera on tight and it doesn't spin around and fall off because if it hit the road with the dual lens on it, you could kiss it goodbye and that would ruin that and uh, it'd be a one-way trip for that camera. Now, another good thing I'll point out with, they do class at what you use on the um, camera itself, the invisible selfie stick. It's not really invisible. What really happens is the camera shoots in 360 degrees, but there is a blind spot on the um, camera shooting angle and it probably shoots at 359 or something like that. And it avoids that area and sort of um, doesn't actually see the stick itself. So in other words, it's still shooting around there, but it just, just doesn't see the stick and uh, gets that out of the way. So it bypasses that one. It also shoots in 5.7K for most of your shooting and um, that gives you your best image which probably results to something like something 
say 4K film image or pretty close to it or something like that. So you don't get a super strong image, but you get a good image regardless. And uh, so, so that's one good thing going for it too. And uh, the best idea, the more you can get that camera up in the air, usually the better the image and uh, the more you see. So uh, I think uh, this will be my first time I've actually had it on the uh, invisible selfie stick before I had it on a uh, tripod or uh, uh, just a, uh, a camera mount on the um, interceptor and just had it on the handlebars when I ran it around the block because uh, I'd been waiting for this uh, invisible selfie stick to arrive. So this is the first day I'll be trialling this one and, you know, uh, I'll just see how it goes and if it comes out good, well, next time I'll try a different mounting point and after that we'll we'll just see how it goes. Like, uh, so this is a good road to try it on because there's not a great deal of traffic on this road and um, when you get into something like that, you know, you have to... Uh, you know, you get a chance to try it without uh, cars whizzing past you all the time. And this is a fair back road. And like I said, not much traffic, so uh, we'll see how it goes. It won't be um, up on this video because I can't put a 360 video and connect to this one. So there's going to be a link in the description. And you can click on that link and just see how the um, video turned out. So whichever way it goes, thanks for watching. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, by all means, Free or free to do because I'm going to put up quite a few videos now on this classic 500. So, once again, thanks a lot for looking and um, safe riding.